What's happening, people? Thank you very much for clicking on the video. It's much appreciated as ever. Right, today's video. So a few months ago, I stumbled upon the YouTube Gone Wrong With Guns sensation that is Phil The Thrill, who is known for his high-octane, pulse-pounding action. What? Oh, dude, I, I was just looking at the truck. You know, it just... Just gets me on the edge of my seat, really. So, yeah. Anyway, I decided the other day to have a look at his channel, you know, see what he's been up to lately. And, you know, always looking pretty normal so far. Well, as normal as it can be. But that's until we get to his latest banger, which is titled, Found Missing Baby by a River Called 911. Like, wow. How much lower can this whole clickbait thing actually get? It's... It's bloody mental. Anyway, let's take a look at this absolute shambles of so-called entertainment. If you, uh, if you can even call it that. Jimmy, the trail ends there. We can't go. And that's all for today's video. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, I mean, it would definitely save me sitting here having to sit through all these um, entertaining videos, which, uh, you know, would probably be doing me a favour. You see that? What? What is that? God bloody hell, mate. Do you want to point one more time? I'm uh, not sure we saw that. Ah, uh, no, I shouldn't, shouldn't really take the piss. I mean, he's he's obviously suffering from point threats, which, you know, is pretty serious stuff. It must have floated downstream. Came uh, down the waterfall while the uh, tide was high and the water was strong because it rained last night. Now it's the water's lower, so it probably just sat here. Oh, nice. Getting a free science lesson here, which, you know, is a bonus. How do we get this? Oh, I don't know. Be careful. You might have to tread in that two inches of water. Bloody hell, I think we've stumbled upon YouTube's answer to bloody evil can evil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, dude, easy, be careful with it. It's heavy. We don't know what's in it. It could be something dangerous. Well, that was the most unnatural line ever. Like, and surely if it was something dangerous, well, whacking it on a rock, you know, might help matters. Oh, quickly, bearing in mind that he uh, obviously knows what's in the box, you know, because he came up with a video idea. Some of the things they do and say to, you know, make the viewer believe that it's real is, well, it's quite worrying, really. For example. How are we gonna open it? I wanna know what's in it. Bash it on some rocks or something. Bash it against the rock? One. Oh, don't, okay. For fuck's sake. Just beat the heck out of it, maybe it'll open. Can you read it? Yeah, I'll read it. With sadness, I'm writing this letter because I can no longer take care of her. I thought this could be the best way to give her a new life and home. Please take care of her. Is it like a dog? It says it's a it's a her. Her or something. That means it's a dog. Oh yeah, I mean her definitely means dog. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Bloody hell. But I like how at the same time they weren't like, oh my god, we like totally whacked it on a rock and stuff. Go, hope it's alright. Feel well bad. No concern or anything, so yeah. Just makes it more believable really. Either that or he's a bloody psychopath. You think there's something alive in there? How is it going to breathe if it's alive? <laughs> well, I mean, you just kind of like debunked your whole video there, so done me a favor. That's what they, they filled it with helium. Yeah, it looked like it popped, bro. Yeah, they, it popped, that's why it fell. It must have just fell in the river there and floated downstream. Right, so you're telling me one bloody Tesco bag for life filled with helium is going to float carrying a supposed baby in it. Yeah. Logic. Right there. Also, it's funny how there's like been not one noise from this box, which, you know, just tells me that this baby is extremely disciplined in the art of stealth, which, you know, is a positive. Don't drop it, all right? Even though we knocked it out cold earlier. It could be a dog. Whoa. Careful, careful. For fuck's sake, yeah. Most natural fall I think I've ever seen. Once again, though, I'm more disturbed at the fact that he knows what video he's making. Like, it just makes this a bit more, a bit more messed up, really, if you kind of look between the lines and all that. What bloody people do just for money and views and all that jazz. You gotta... Yeah. Uh, just 
just be careful with it. Throws it five foot away from him. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Like, they're legit emphasizing everything, and it's, I don't know, it's just really bugging me. Like, you know, I'm sitting here getting all bloody twitchy and that. Do you know what I mean? If I brought my gun, I could have just shot the lock open. Oh, my God. Like, what worries me the most is, like, obviously, it's not real. It's pretty bloody obvious. And I don't get how, well, how there's so many people that actually, you know, believe this. I mean, just take a look at some of these comments that were left on this video. It just bloody boggles my mind. Anyway, back to the video. After that, he makes his way home with, you know, the baby strapped to the back of his quad bike. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But you know, he gets into a bit of a bit of a situation on his journey home. I'm gonna go. I can't go down here? No. Why not? You can go. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't hit me with that. Are you crazy? Oh my god, yes, please. Just twat him with it. It'll do us all a favor. Okay, I'll turn around, alright? I'll turn around. Turn around! I have to go home though. My house is that way. How am I gonna get home? I have to go around okay, I'll turn around, I'll turn well, along with throwing a baby about in a box, at least now you can also add terrifying old ladies to your CV. <laughs> Proper hard nut this geezer, innit? Let's cut this open. Just freshly sharpened. Um. Oh, don't know if you'll break into this one, mate. Whoever done it, you know, knows their stuff. I mean, look at that lock holding the rope to together. Cool. Might need to call in a bloody specialist. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? It's like bloody Fort Knox. You ain't, you ain't getting into that. There we go. Cool, proper secured that. Bloody hell. Now just pull everything out. Oh yeah, the way that box is just flopping about. It must have such a heavy weight in it. Because, you know, logic. Once again. Pull it off. Oh, that's a convenient camera cut there before, you know... They actually opened the box. Let's see what's in here. What the? Whoa. Is a baby in here? What? As if there was a perfectly placed baby in there this whole time. I mean, you can just, you can just hear the concern in his voice. Wait, wait, what are we gonna do with this? So, so much concern. After that, I immediately called the police. Of course you did. And they were able to get the baby reunited with her parents. Oh, what, the parents that put her in a box and chucked her down a bloody river? God, glad she's back home safe now. <laughs> the police told me not to record the phone call. That's why I'm not going to post any of the footage on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Of course. If you want to see a part two, make sure you smash that like button. <laughs> what? How the fuck can this video have a part two? Part two. We went and stole the baby back and put it in a box and threw it about a bit. Logic. This video is just bloody full of logic. Some great content you're making there, mate. Keep up the uh, disturbing, I mean, good work. And, and all that. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, that would mean a lot. If you're new, subscribe if you want. Uh, don't blame me if you don't want to, but, you know, the offer's there. Anyway, I'll be back with a video next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Laters on.